Welcome back to 7 Days to Die. I'm Matt, and here we are in Navas game again. As you can see, I have built myself a base. It is day 7, and that means the horde is coming in tonight. So, the test today is to see if I could build a base, like the one in my previous test, within 7 days. Without any cheats, and without making life easy for myself. Now, as you can see, it is pretty much done. There is a few things that need fixing, but moreover it's here that needs the work so as you can see i'm missing the bars i'm needing some more spikes i need to do a couple modifications that i have done in my previous game just to make this base ready so this base was built before the tests were done hence the reason why there is the need to do some changes i have less than an hour to do it all in and get myself ready for that horde so from now until about five o'clock, I am going to do my usual stuff of getting ready for the horde and make sure this base is ready for that horde to come in. Now, just so you know, none of this has been cheated for. This has all been scavenged. It has all been done with me going out and getting the stuff. Um, it is on Nomad, so it is a little bit harder than your normal, but I have given myself just a few more uh, items from loot, so 150% rather than 100% to compensate for that you'll also notice that i am down at the normals for most of the others so let's get to it get this base done we'll do the montage and i'll see you guys back here at about five o'clock this evening in game time Welcome back, it's now five o'clock, so let's have a quick look at what I've done. <coughs> so as you saw from the little montage, I've added in these blocks here. I haven't added the little box there because there's only two blocks here, so that'll need a modification in the future. I have made myself some ammunition. I'm making some more cobblestone as we speak. I've got the furnace going at the moment. This is gonna stay incomplete for the time being, as my main concern now is ammunition. So I'm gonna go out and get some more feathers and see if I can get some more iron and things like that before the horde arrives. So with that, I'm going to head out, do that work, and I will see you just before the horde. Well, welcome back guys. So we are just before the horde. So before we go on to the horde, let me just quickly show you. I'm gauge 30, game stage 34, and I'm level 17. And I finally found the rest of my stuff and I found I have a junk turret and an AK-47, but I will try and avoid using them because I want to keep that ammunition for later nights. You can see I have stocked up on a few more arrows. I've got a few junk turret, a bit of junk turret ammunition, which is already loaded as well. And you see I have one repair kit and one first aid kit. You can see that I've done my modifications and I'm ready for the horde. So, with the horde only just around the corner, let's sit back and wait for the horde. Okay, here we go. The first seventh night. Let's see if she stands up.
Well, I think that's it. First horde night. I had one block, block break there at the end, but nothing else. So, with that, I'm going to come out and let's have a look around. Looks like a few blocks got damaged down there. But nothing major. Doesn't look like any major damage has been done. So with that, I'm going to leave it to morning, and uh, if, if any more zombies come in, I will come back in, but if there's nothing, I'll see you as soon as it hits dawn, and we'll go and check out what sort of damage has been done. Well, it's morning now, so let's go around and have a look at what damage has been done to the base. Oh. Well, they've destroyed a couple of the wood blocks, which is fine. I can sort that out. A little bit of damage here and there. Just need some repairs. A few whacks of a few blocks, that's fine. A little bit of damage here. Looks like they did a little bit of damage here and there. They've destroyed a block there for some reason, which is a bit random. Uh, done a little bit of damage here, another block missing from there. But other than that, it stood it stood up to the to the night. So there you go. Within seven days or fourteen hours, you can build this base and withstand a nomad horde. And, as you can see, I even had put a storage area on the back and a farm growing at the top within those first seven days. So there we go. If you'd like to build it, you can have a quick look at the designs from these last couple of videos, but you'll also get to see me in the next video doing it in under a day because my next task is to test out whether you can use an existing POI to make this base and do it within a one hour period by just scavenging the stuff that you find from the town down south where you'll find yourself in the desert. So in the next video, I'm heading down there and we'll see if you can build the base in under a day. So if you like what I'm doing, like and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next one.